New release from Hugo Boss, the Scent Elixir. Let's talk about it. Here's some codes to save you some cash on your next Middle Eastern niche or designer fragrances. What's going on guys? My name is Neeb. Welcome back to Aromatics. Today we're going to be talking about the newest release, Boss, the Scent Elixir. The elixirs are just the hottest thing now, right? So a couple of fragrances that I have from Boss. It's really not too many actually. I have Boss, the Scent or Boss Bottled, the Intense Eau de Parfum. That was like the, the gem, right? It's discontinued now. They have the original and they have good scents good sense and I hesitated saying good I was I wanted to say great but I really I mean I'm not crazy about a lot of boss fragrances but boss bottled intense is okay in my opinion and uh, my next favorite one was going to be boss bottled elixir and boss the scent private accord boss amongst a lot of their fragrances has a pretty distinctive I don't even want to call it funk notes amongst the entire lineup of the scent this is really the only one that I truly fell in love with it's got the addition of cacao it's a little bit gourmand vanillic sweet and this was my favorite one the Meninka fruit across all of the fragrances or all of the boss the scent fragrances kind of got a little bit redundant in my opinion the original was one of the better ones and you know it had its time and then they released some flankers which did get better and better boss the scent private accord, no not private accord magnetic is one that I want to revisit and I have to admit that it was one that's really it's actually pretty good but I never really justified picking it up because that distinctive Meninka for me personally can get a little bit boring and not the fact that it's used in the fragrance but rather the fact that it's used in every single flanker but it's the point of the whole thing right that's the theme that they're going after is this is the scent and these are the different flankers so I respect that they stay true to the DNA this is the newest release and I have to admit that I actually enjoy this one a lot actually because of the fact that it goes back to the OG. Even on the box, it clearly says that we took the original and we intensified it with some sandalwood and they intensified it also with some lavender and uh, I believe the pimento pepper, if I'm not mistaken. So it does something. It honestly takes it back to the original. My initial impression with the original was a love, genuinely. And this one's actually close enough, but sexier and more modern than the original for me to fall back in love with the DNA. Now, I'm not gonna say that this is anything spectacular, outstanding, or brand new. It's really not, but that's the whole point of this one. It takes the old school and modernizes it. That's essentially what ends up happening with this one. So first impression with this fragrance is it's a nine out of 10. I, it reestablished my love for the DNA. I genuinely love this this one, the Boss the Scent Elixir. I still do enjoy Private Accord, however, it's not going to be something that I can pull off uh, as often. And believe it or not, this is denser, richer, and creamier than the Private Accord. I initially grabbed this because of its gourmand aspects, but this is denser. It's darker and bolder. And so for that reason, and my love for darker, bolder, and denser fragrances, and while I do still love, love sweet fragrances as well, I find this one to be a little bit sexier. It's old school, but modern at the same time. It's got that signature lavender meninka fruit, but now it adds that very creamy sandalwood and some ambers and the lavender is a bit richer as well. So classic fragrance, a classic scent, richer, modern, and better in my opinion. Initial impression rating, I gave this about a nine out of 10. And when I did a side-by-side -side comparison of both of these, I genuinely enjoy this one just a little bit more. And it really comes down to all of the descriptors that I use. It is richer, it is denser, it is bolder, and it seems a little bit sweeter. This is still a fantastic fragrance and this for me was my favorite one but it's still up there private accord is definitely still up there but this once upon a time was a 10 in the realm of the scent profiles literally the scent boss the scent profiles <laughs> or should I say the sense scent profile there you go the scent scent profiles this was the 10 I'm not gonna say a 10 because it's not like the best thing in the world but it still was an outstanding fragrance and outstanding flanker I should say of the entire lineup so whereas this one might have been the 10 out of the lineup I genuinely like this one and favor it just a little bit more. Hear me out before you go out there and say that this is the next best boss and blah blah. It's really not. It's not anything brand new as I said earlier in the video but if you appreciate the original classic you're going to really enjoy this one. It's because of the fact that I appreciate and really like the classic that I really really like this one and this it's still really good. So if I had to compare these two as of today I am favoring this one over this scent profile and it comes down to this being denser bolder and richer of a scent profile because that, in my opinion, is sexy as well. So this, still pretty good. This, I like it just a little bit more. This is first impressions, so it could be that during the dry down or mid to dry down, it does something a little bit different, but it's a new release, and I wanted to get this video out there as well. So the other elixir that I really enjoyed from Boss, and I thought it would be pretty interesting to talk about it as well, is Bottled Elixir. And for me personally, this was another one that I really enjoyed of the entire lineup. I like this one more than the Intense Eau 
de Parfum that everybody really, really enjoys. It's a good fragrance, but this does it with a Middle Eastern edge. It's got incense, frankincense, and something spicy as well. So it takes that DNA and basically Middle Easterns it out, essentially. So that's a good fragrance, but for me personally, I really, really enjoy this one. The uh, Sauvage Elixir is definitely one of the best elixirs, period. I mean, that is the best elixir to date, in my opinion. But this kind of has a little bit of that licorice spiced vibe to the uh, bus bottle DNA. I really do enjoy this one. So the common trend with a lot of the elixirs, at least that I've noticed, is that they go a little bit spicier, denser, bolder. The Scent Elixir is following that same trend, bolder, denser, and a little bit spicier as well. So not a bad release by any means, not anything spectacular or brand new, but if you appreciate the original, this is better than the original. And this for me is personally neck and neck with Private Accord, if not just a little bit better in my opinion. It is a damn shame that they discontinued this one. And if we're talking about uniqueness though, this is a bit more unique than this for sure because like I said this is pretty close to the original so unique factor definitely goes to the private accord as far as like overall scent profile and denseness and richness I'm gonna pick the elixir so really it comes down to you and what you like and the fact that you can't find this anyway unless you find it on eBay for some crazy price and I don't suggest doing that unless you're crazy about the scent profile boss the scent profile if you do maybe try and get your hands on uh, private accord as well but for this one not bad. Initial impression, 9 out of 10. Let me know down in the comments what you think about Boss the Scent. Do you think it's also redundant? How do you feel about that Maninka fruit? I find that it's pretty unique in the sense that it's only two Boss. They really went with something and stuck with it, like, and never let it go. But then again, we could say the same thing about JPG and a lot of their flankers and a lot of other... Yeah. I don't think it's a cash grab. It is a little different. A little different. It's darker. It's denser. Yeah, no. It's good. It's pretty good. <laughs> Make sure to leave a like, hit that subscribe button, and until the next video, peace.